All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai over Chakodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rachak Badash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word on truth and in all sincerity. You know, I just want to get into a quick lesson on how, you know, pretty much this whole American dream. You know that's um that's been pushed you know for you know decades upon decades you know it's basically coming uh to an end right now and you see these people out here you know they're about to lose it okay they're about to lose uh, you know everything that they have they're about to lose the, you know the hope that they've been um attached to for so long okay you see these people you know they've um They've been sold that American dream that, you know, if you basically work hard, all right, you know, you can obtain, you know, these uh, riches of this world, all right? And you see right now what the Heavenly Father's doing through Esau Edom is he's uh, basically stripping that away from them, okay? You see, a lot of people, they're about to, you know, for instance, you know, you got people, they're about, uh, they're about to get evicted, okay, starting August 1st. More and more um, jobs are about to be lost, okay, due uh, to this um, economic crash that's coming very soon, okay? You know, you have um, all these, um, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to say a, a CV, you know, 19 variants that are popping up left and right. And that's going to do what? Shut down this uh, entire system again. And also, I... um. I heard that um, from this, because uh, I had a customer and he worked for uh, AIG, all right, this financial company, and he was telling me that since Biden's going to, you know, raise these taxes, that's going to um, cause the economy to, you know, plummet, you know, this, you know, already weak economy that's trying to, you know, rebuild itself, it's going to plummet. And then, like I said, with the combination of, you know, those two things, you know, people are going to be uh, losing jobs left and right, okay? And um, and you also have, um, you know, you have the CDC. They're saying that you have to uh, wear your face mask once again, okay? And a lot of people, they're, um, you know, I look at the comment boards on all these, uh, you know, news, you know, you know, sites and channels, you know, co you know, uh, the comments for, you know, uh, you know, Instagrams, all that stuff. And these people, they're they're ready to uh, flip out, okay? They're they're ready, you know, to um, to rebel pretty much, okay? Um, but all in all, though, you know, the heavenly Father's doing all this, okay? Because this place is prideful. All right, you know, let me start off with that. You know, let me get this real quick before I get the uh, the scriptures that I was uh, thinking about. Let me get this and um. You got a uh, second Ezra's chapter eight, and let me get this real quick. Hey, hello, how are you? Hey. Um, let's get this one real quick. Um, here we go. This is um second Ezra's chapter eight, verse fifty, and it reads, "For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world." Because they have walked in great pride. And you see, these miseries, they're uh, about to hit these people, okay? And it's, uh, uh, it's all because they've walked in great pride, okay? Because uh, as the scriptures say, and um, let's get this real quick in Sirach. It says, the beginning of pride is when one departeth from his maker, okay? And um, let's get that real quick. This is uh, Sirach 10 and uh, 12. It says, the beginning of pride is when one departeth from uh, the Most High, Yahweh, and his heart is turned, meaning his mind, is turned away from his Maker. For pride is the beginning of sin, and, and it says here, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. So pretty much when you have that pride in you, you actually believe that your ways, that your philosophies, ideologies, are actually better than the Most High's, which, as the scriptures say um, in the book of Psalms, man at his best, his best estate, remember that, his best estate is all but vanity. If you're not following Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, you're 
your thoughts, your, you know, aspirations, everything that you think about is all vain, to be honest. That's why uh, King Solomon said what? All is vanity. All is vanity. Okay, because really, if you're not praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and doing what um, he says, it, it, it's, it's going to lead to what? A death style. Something that's not going to be beneficial to you and it's not going to be profitable. That's why, what did King Solomon say at the end of that, uh, uh, at the uh, end of Ecclesiastes? After all the things that he talked about in that book, in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, I think the 13th verse, it says that um, here, here's the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. This is the whole duty of man. <laughs> all right? That's what we're supposed to, especially for you Israelites out there. All right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, and also some of our people, you know, you may look like a heathen, but ultimately you go, you know, back to the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You Israelites, your whole purpose is to serve the Lord, okay? And then you're supposed to actually teach the heathens how to uh, uh, serve the Lord too, even though they're not going to be, you know, doing things perfectly, all right? You know, they're, they're going to fail, you know, <laughs> terribly. But hey, we, we, we got to push that vibration out there. Okay, we got to push righteousness. All right, but point being though is, you know, that's why these things are coming upon these people is because of, the, of, the, uh, of their pride. And I'm going to read this and it says, And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. And that's what's happening, okay? That's why there's all these natural disasters. That's why there's this economic collapse, you know, coming. That's why there's going to be um, riots and, and warfare uh, going because the Lord is tired of these people and their pride, all right? And then see, that's what, uh, see the Lord, what he's doing, he's crushing these people's dreams, okay? Because that's all they are, they're just dreams. You see, that's what Esau sold you, the American dream, all right? Which the American dream, you know, was pushed through what? The media, you know, the, you know through the television, you know, the radio, all right, the magazines, the papers, all right? Now what? Your modern day internet. Okay, they say that, you know, if you do X, Y, Z, you know, you can obtain ABC, you know. But see, all that's coming, that's coming to an end. This place is going to turn into what? An American nightmare is going to turn into, a, um, you know, the American horror story. Okay, that's what it's going to turn into very, very soon. We're coming into that phase right now. All right, you see, us that are in this truth. We're in a good case because we're not attached to this place. You see, everyone else, they've been uh, uh, attached to this place. And they're not willing to give it up. And that's why they're going to uh, lose at the end. Because ultimately, this place is destined for destruction. And anybody that's attached uh, unto it, they're going to lose. Okay? And you know, let me get that. That's in the book of Isaiah. Let me get this real quick. And then I'm going to get that Proverbs. Because that was the main scripture I wanted to get out. But this is uh, Proverbs... At the 15th chapter 14 maybe that's kind of weird for some reason I can't think of it's a scripture we always bring out is it, hold on real quick hold on let me get this but it says basically if you're joined unto you know yeah, there's 13 and 15, that's what it is. This is um, Isaiah 13 and 15, and it reads, Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. And you see, if you're joined unto the system, all right, Esau, Edom system, you're going to be um, thrust through, you're going to fall by the sword. You know, you're going to basically perish. Because look, Esau's kingdom was never meant to be an everlasting kingdom. You know, even though... People believe that his kingdom is going to continue. And the reason why is because of his, you know, military might, his technology. Okay. And the fact that he's been in power for so long. People really believe that this place is going to continue. But the Lord, he's going to subdue this place. However, he's going to do it. All right. It's going to be through various, you know, uh, means. Okay. You know, but I, I don't know how exactly it's going to happen. But, you know, we have, you know, um, this whole Bible is like a guidebook, okay? We, we, we know that, you know, X, Y, Z is going to happen. You know, we, don't, we just don't know exactly when it's going to happen, all right? But we know it's getting close, though, you know? 
All right, but let me get this real quick. This is a uh, Proverbs 29 and 18. Now it reads here, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. And the main point is, where there is no vision, the people perish. All right, now I want to get into this word uh, vision, okay? Because these people, they don't have this particular vision, all right? And what vision is that? And um, this is the uh, the word vision, which in the Hebrew is chazawan, chazawan, okay? And one of the definitions, and uh, by the way, it's uh, H2377 uh, in the uh, concordance, and it um, one of the definitions for it, it says vision, oracle, prophecy, okay? Divine communication. You see, these people, they don't understand prophecy. They don't have that divine communication see the lord as the scriptures say we'll get this real quick the lord said that he'll re he basically only reveals his secrets unto the servants the prophets okay and where's that real quick let's just get it amos 3 and 7 and it reads surely the lord yahweh will do nothing but he re revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets and you see um the only ones that are going to understand, you know, the, 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 the Lord's plan are the prophets, okay? And then with that being said, the prophets are going to teach, you know, other prophets, which it's going to, that's, uh, you know, the 144,000. And then the 144,000, they're going to guide the one-third. Those that um, believe the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, they believe what the prophets are saying, okay? All right? Those are the only ones that are going to uh, understand what's going on. You see, but these people, they're not get, given that insight. You know, for whatever reason, the Lord has only chosen a select amount of people to understand what's going on. Okay? And these people, they're going to be okay in that day. And that's because they have, uh, uh, they have trusted in the Lord. Okay? And they have faith. All right? And ultimately, faith is what created in the womb. So, this is all about predestination. You know? And it says here, I'm going to read that again, Proverbs 29 and 2, where there is no vision, people perish. And you see these people, they're going to perish very soon because they're not going to understand the prophecies. They're going to, you know, panic. They're going to freak out. Okay. They're going to, you know, uh, make false, you know, moves. Not false moves, uh, unwise moves. Okay. And those unwise moves are going to lead to what? Their destruction. Okay. And we know what's coming. It's, it's coming quickly. Okay. You see us we're way we're we're not attached to this place see we, we we've been dead to this world for so long okay you know yeah you know you, you'll have a brother that you know he may you know obtain a, you know let's just say a home you know nice car he's able to support himself his family you know uh the, you know help out the brotherhood but he's not attached to this place you know he's not those that are really in this truth they don't love the things you know they don't love the world nor the things that are there in it, you know? You know, we, we, you know, yeah, we may have a drink here. You know, we may listen to some music. You may go to an event here and there. But you're not, you, you, your heart, you know, your mind, all that, your spirit is not really into it, you know? Because we know that this place is uh, going to uh, bypass uh, away. You know what, let me get that real quick. That's in the book of Corinthians. Um... It says, for the fashion of this world. Yeah, yep, let me get this. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 31, and it reads, And they that use this world and as not abusing it. So there's nothing wrong with using the world, okay? You know, if you're able to, you know, talk to somebody that's of the world, and, you know, you might, you know, get, um, you know, get in good standings with them. You know, you might be able to, you know, help your business out, promote your business. You may be able to get, a, you know, a, a raise or a promotion. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, because there's a so lucky about that. It says money is a defense. All right, so there's nothing wrong with using the world, but just don't abuse it. Okay, don't abuse it. Hey, don't be all into this place and you know being you know entangled with the affairs of this life, as the script, uh, scriptures say. Okay, it says for this for the fashion of this world passeth away. And see, we as men of the Lord always have that in the ba back of our mind that the fashion of this world is going to bypass and we see it right now things aren't the same you know look at america look at the state it, it it's in right now you know people are on edge 
people are very hostile right now people are aggravated things aren't you know returning back to normal like as you know these people wanted it to be okay you know they're talking about you know second lockdowns and all that and people are you know about to you know lose it they want to continue to have fun they want to go to the you know the festivals they want to continue to go to the baseball games the basketball games they want to go you know to the concerts they want to do all these things they want to go to the bar they want to have you know drinks they want to eat good food that's what they want to do you know but that's not going to happen they, this place is shutting down we're seeing it people are you know aren't success, uh, successful anymore really you know there's only very few people that are actually making it in this world you know you're seeing that that that, that gap uh, that um that class gap you know uh, um you know widening more and more it's basically becoming a society of whether you're you know rich or poor now that's it that's it no one no one's really middle class no one's you know you know uh, doing well it, it's it's not like that anymore this is not the 19 you know uh you know 80s and 90s and you know early 2000s it's not like that this is america in 2021 going on 2022 and we're seeing you know the fall of this place things are not the same all right so that's why we're not attached to this because we're looking for something uh, uh better okay we're looking for um that continuing city as it says in um let's get it in the book of hebrews the 13th chapter and the um 14th verse and it reads here for we have no continuing city and that's for us israelites because right now we're under bondage bondage okay we're actually prisoners of war right now we're pow's whether people you know can accept that or you know or believe it this is the actual truth you have no power okay you have you have to follow uh somebody else's rules you can even try to branch off and you won't you can't do it and the reason the reason why is because one the heavenly father has uh, um has put us in this condition and then two even um even if you wanted to do this right you have esau edom and also the other nations they don't want you to, uh, to 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 be free because ultimately you're the best slave okay you israelites are the best slaves uh in the world you're the strongest you're the fastest okay you know uh you cook the best you build the best you have the best inventions so on and so forth so why would they want to let their uh, slaves you know go away that's helping them build their kingdom why would they want to let them go you know so it says here for we have no continuing city but we seek one to come okay and you know that's what we're you know doing okay we're a well, we're seeking for the you know the kingdom of heaven where all good things dwell where we're in rulership where we're calling the shots where evil is you know uh pretty much put out you know where righteousness flourish you know flourishes that's what we're waiting for okay that's what we're waiting for and that's why you know when all hell breaks loose we're going to be okay because ultimately we have this knowledge wisdom and understanding okay and we're not attached to this place and it says here in Isaiah, what, 33 and 6. You know, I'll probably end it off with this. And it reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation. And you see, even right now, us walking in the valley of the shadow of death, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is keeping us stable. All right? But especially in the times... That that's fast approaching where all hell breaks loose which is what jacob's trouble once that comes hey this wisdom is going to really preserve us okay it's going to really uh, uh you know you know guide us we're going to be in a you know a good case man while the rest of these people are going to be losing their minds they're, they're, they're going to lose hope a lot of people are going to commit suicide soon because they they're going to lose everything and they're going to they're going to just give up you know and it says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is his treasure. And why is that? Because the Lord is going to protect those that fear him. Because those, if you fear the Lord, okay, you're doing what? Uh, you're, you, you know, you're going to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. You're going to serve him properly, all right, to the best of your ability. You're going to, you know, separate yourself from this evil place. You're going to, you know, you're going to accept that you're going to be a fool in this world, you know, for the Lord, uh, you know, sake, okay? All right? And as it says in the scriptures, 
Hey, the fear of the Lord is the first uh, uh, step of being accepted by Him. If you really fear the Lord, you know, you're going to do the right thing, all right? Sometimes you're going to stumble and fall, but all in all, though, you're really going to do the right thing. You see, these people, they don't care. They do whatever their flesh tells them to do, you know? And if they want to eat, you know, some crabs or some lobster, or, you know, some catfish, or, you know, they commit adultery, they're going to do it. Or if they want to, you know, well, you know, worship a, a, a statue and say that's their God, they'll do it, you know? You see, we're not we're not like that though. And those are just to name a few things. Hey, there's more. Hey, hey, we stopped doing drugs, okay? Hey, we stopped, you know, um, basically um, screwing over our people. All right. We stopped just being a uh, uh, little demons, man. Pretty much, you know. So the, our our people are still you know stuck on this stuff, and that's gonna be for their downfall. All right. Hey, but you know. You know, hey, we we got this insight, and you we know, know we can't take this you know lightly. We got to continue to push to the best of our ability. We got to continue to you know praise the Lord to the best of our ability. We just got to you know, you know, uh, repent and try our best. All right. But um, you know, I'm gonna end it off. You know, I hope this was edifying. And uh, with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shemayon Shai, also double homage to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.